the Santa Clara vanguards. We were remarking, Gary, uh, about their marching, their moving in any direction. Unbelievable technique, and this, or this early in the season for it to be that uh, under control. Of course, they probably won't think so. They always want to make it better, but moving forwards, backwards, sideways, it's like you take away any limitation. Uh, they're, they're actually running. They're doing jazz running and playing at the same time. And the, uh, I hope the, the home audience, when you're watching this on TV, you can appreciate to de develop the, the physical capability to do all that movement and to play at a full volume for a 10 and a half or 11 minute show. It takes a lot of conditioning. They do a lot of running. They do stretching exercises. They do a lot of aerobic type of things to build their endurance so that they can play the whole summer and stay healthy. But the movement and the, the it, it's just the control and everything and the difficulty of the music, it's an unbelievable performance. And I think they have still push the envelope a little bit further. In other words, they're still exploring more things they can do with this idea of Phantom of the Opera and just some neat effects from the guard, uh, the ladies in the guard, the ballet type dancing and so on. Wonderful performance. What do you think the future of, of music uh, will be as these people move on into the professional ranks? I mean, I, I, I'm sure it's already affecting music. Well, I think music affects them, and then they in turn affect the music. Bands affect cores, cores affects bands, uh, cores affect band. Um, one of the things is that, that they all motivate each other. So if something good is happening somewhere in the country by some type of a group, whether it's a core, a band, an orchestra, or whatever, other people find out about it, and then there's some imitation going on, and there's some further development of a certain style or whatever. The neat thing about drum corps is that it's, it's uh, caused uh, companies to look at the equipment itself, for example, the drum equipment, and develop better ways of doing what they do. Uh -huh. Cranking the drum heads higher, and but not having the parts break, and uh -huh. and all the different things you can do with an instrument. Why not do more with it? So they, they've been they've had to get creative to keep up with what the the kids here are coming up with. Uh, some one year something will seem real bizarre, and the next year it's standard for everybody. One year they decided to cut a part of the drum out and uh, let the error go out there and let the sound go and I thought it would be a different sound and it was and everybody bought those for a while and now you see solid drum shells again. So there are some things that, that uh, come and go but uh, it's again pushing the limits all the time and I think that's the effect that the groups have on each other is somebody's doing something good everybody else says well let's try that out. Let's try that. Yeah. Yeah.